All right, so we're gonna get our copier paper here. Um, I'm gonna use this one that I've already folded just so I can know exactly where I folded it. Um, so just have a piece of copier paper and you're gonna fold it over like so. Um, and you'll see here that there's kind of about an inch of um, space in the fold. You don't wanna fold it all the way over um, to the edge. It needs to be right about here, okay? So here's a close-up look at uh, this, not all the way up. Next thing is we're gonna fold it like this. So about halfway on the paper, like that. Um, and we got, it's the side up with this, this part here, so. And then take this side and fold it over until it looks like little fox ears, kinda. I thought, I always think it looks kinda like a, the head of a fox with the ears and the nose, ears. Okay, the next step is to take this and fold it over like that. We're gonna fold it all the way over to the edge, so the edges meet. Okay, it should look like this now. We're gonna take our scissors and you see this line here where this flap is, we're gonna cut across there. So now, get rid of that. We have something that looks like this, okay? So we're gonna fold it like that. We're gonna start designing our little snowman. I got the pencil, I'm gonna start drawing them out a little bit. What you're gonna wanna do is make both sides, this and this, be mirror images. So basically, you could just fold it over like this and start drawing like that. So you don't, you don't want anything on this side to be any different from anything on this side. So I'm gonna start drawing just kind of lightly. I'd be drawing a little lighter if I wasn't demonstrating. So here's the second tier of the snowman and third tier. I'm gonna have this part on the ground. So if you'll notice here, this is par the part that we're gonna cut out. Um, all, everything around the snowman is the parts that we're gonna cut out of the, the image. And another thing you need to remember is this side needs to connect to the edge. You need to draw something to the very edge so that when we open it up, it will be still together. So what we will also do is we're gonna draw another connector. It'll be the hand of the snowman, which will be a branch. And what it's gonna look like, it's gonna look like he is holding hands with another snowman. So that's our design. Now we're gonna fold it in half and remember, it's gotta be a mirror image, so this side should look exactly the same as the other side. Now we're gonna start cutting that part out. This is all the part that we're gonna cut out between here and in here, and then here, here, and here. So we get ourselves a snowman. Hopefully you can see that. So he's partly done, as you can see, it's getting close. Okay, let's open up and see what it looks like. Mm. 
Make sure you open it up carefully. So you don't rip any of the snowmen. Well, it looks like our snowman snowflake has turned out pretty much okay. As you can see, the branch arms and the ground part are the parts that connect each snowman. That's why it's important to have both edges of the diamond shape connect to the center when you are making your design. Okay, and so that is how you cut out your own snowman snowflake. Um, you can use the same techniques to do your own designs. I would uh, fold the paper the same way. Um, but once you do the design part with a pencil, you can just do a bunch of different things and see what works. So thanks for joining me for this tutorial, and I'll see you later. Bye!